good morning guys good morning and of course i want to welcome you to sing with me and that will be shonda inspires nations to grow so for those of you who always seem to somehow turn this right here on because you know that i absolutely love you guys and for those of you who may be new to the channel i want to welcome you to the sing life community today because we are a group of creators we do believe in the law of attraction namaste all the way inspiration motivation spirituality god hmm, we got you because we learn lessons here and we only reflect the good so i want to welcome you to sing life tv today well, of course, you know, today is Tuesday, but not just any Tuesday. It is Fine Tune Tuesday today. And so what we tend to do here on Seeing Life TV is we use Tuesdays to get ourselves back into the alignment of the vibrational frequency of love, which is God, to produce the things that are inside that we know that already exist from this dimension as above it is below we know that our imagination is so important when it comes to living the life that we know we already have that's guaranteed so your imagination will always equal your manifestation and I wanted to reach out today. A lot of times on the, on this channel, we just deal with regular life situations and circumstances. And I know that around the fall, you know, the days are shorter. It gets darker earlier. It's the holiday season. And sometimes that triggers an emotion of sadness in people. And so I wanted to dedicate this Fine Tune Tuesday to you today. For those of you who have recently lost a loved one, for those of you who have, who have recently been broken up with, or maybe you're in a post-relationship or a post-divorce type of a situation, and you find yourself for the first time in many, many years alone during this season, when you probably should be cuddling. I'm single. I cuddle with my dog. <laughs> so I'm extremely happy. But, you know, I wanted to reach out to you today to let you know that you are most definitely not alone life carries its circumstances and its situations but we are to learn the lesson from those from those situations and move forward to a better day and so i wanted to think to talk to you all today about the power of using your imagination and scripting the things in your mind that you want to feel that you want to experience and that you want to show up so this is a mantra i've cre created it in my little version joseph murphy is the teacher behind this he is absolutely phenomenal he's the excellent thought teacher and joseph i thank you because you are beyond anything so he's absolutely fantastic and you know i am a person that inspires people but I'm also human so I do have times where I feel like that downswing but what I've learned to do is just give it permission to leave because there's no room for lack here there's no room for sadness here and there's no room just to be feeling like I'm not good enough because I am the prize I truly do believe that I am the prize. It doesn't get any better than this right here. It just is what it is. I don't need anybody to be a cheerleader for me. I'm my own cheerleader. I just look at myself and be like, mm, bless God, it's so good. Every time I look at myself in the mirror, it was a process and it took some time and it took a lot of effort, but I'm here and I'm not coming down off the pedestal because I belong right here. I am the woe man creator. See, that's how we have to talk to ourselves and we have to believe what we're saying. We have to know what we're saying. We have to know what we are saying. So I want to share an affirmation with you today on this Fine Tune Tuesday to get you back into alignment with the frequency of abundance, with the frequency of wealth and success. What are you scripting? in your mind are you in control of the wand that works back and forth in your mind are you allowing the thoughts that have been passed down from generations to dictate your life are you allowing those thoughts to dictate how you feel inside and you react on that emotion and you live this cycle that's in total opposition of your vision for your life so i want to share this with you 
this is a treatment uh, from Joseph Murphy, and I say it like all the time. So I want you to listen to it, and I want you to think about the words that he gave me to share with you. I am now writing in my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth. God is the source of my supply and all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space. God's wealth flows freely, joyously, and ceaselessly in my experience. And I give thanks to God for his riches forever flowing consistently in my life. And if, as you think about what I just said, Think about what you're writing in your subconscious mind. I choose to write that I am writing in my subconscious mind the idea of God's wealth because I realize that God is the source of all my supply and all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space. God's wealth flows freely, joyously, and ceaselessly into my experience. And I give thanks to God for his riches forever circulating in the span in my life. His riches are forever circulating, whether I see them right now or not. His riches are forever circulating when I walk outside and the trees are giving him praise. His riches are forever circulating when I step into a room, he just shows up. His riches are forever circulating because when the enemy thought he could take me out, I still got the victory. His riches are circulating no matter what goes on in your life. His riches are forever circulating. And my question for you today on this Fine Tune Tuesday, are you going to lay back and receive the riches that he freelessly give to you? Or are you going to resist the riches by allowing a mindset that doesn't align with what he says in his word to dictate failure in your life? Think about it. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Share this video and click this bell so you can write great things in your subconscious mind with me. Bye now.